God bless you all. My name is Dave, and I'll talk to you today about connecting with Christ and teaching others. When we talk about discipleship, we are talking about what we know about God and sharing it with someone else. Discipleship is personally transferring the full dimensions of your relationship with Jesus Christ to the person you are walking with. The hope is that they, in turn, will do the same as you did. It is not the sharing of spiritual disciplines as much as it is acquainting another with a person you love. It is more of an introduction of who Jesus is and later at the proper time the teachings take place because we want people to be able to embrace the knowledge of Jesus before they learn who Jesus is. The first step is to create a relationship with Jesus. That is how acceptance and salvation first begins. The Apostle Paul said that he would teach and urge with all his strength that every person God placed in his life would come to a complete experience of the person of Christ. I'll read to you Colossians chapter 1 verse 28 through 29. Again, it's Colossians chapter 1 verse 28 through 29. And the scripture says, he is the one we proclaim admonishing and teaching everyone with all wisdom so that we may present everyone fully mature in Christ. To this end, I strenuously contend with all the energy Christ so powerfully works in me. And that is in Colossians chapter 1, verse 28 through 29. You see, the Apostle Paul was not satisfied with people becoming partially like Christ. He would not rest until those around him were perfect or complete in Christ. What Paul meant by this is that the fruits of the Spirit were being fully expressed through each life and the character of Christ was reflected in each person. Again, he was talking about the fruits of the Spirit seen in each person. That was his teaching. The fruits of the Spirit relate to the outcome or expression of the Holy Spirit inside of you. With a strong spirit, there are certain characteristics that show you are trending to be more Christ-like. Let's understand what is meant by the fruits of the Spirit. And we see this in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 through 23. And the scripture says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. And that comes from the scripture, Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 through 23. We can mistake Christian activity with becoming like Christ. Did you hear me say activity? Christian activity and Christ-likeness are not the same things. We must not assume that because our friend attends church and reads their Bible, they are growing as a Christian. The action itself does not produce Christian growth. The activities are a tool to aid in spiritual growth. So that's why the activities are important, but they are not the whole thing. Again, it's the spiritual growth that matters. The activities serve only as a means to that spiritual growth. Christian activities are an important expression of your relationship with Christ. They can lead you to a relationship, but the danger is assuming that your religious, religious activity is the relationship. If you are only encouraging those around you to attend, Christian activities, then you have not discipled them the way the Apostle Paul has. You, you do your fellow Christians an injustice by teaching them that Christian activity is equal to Christian maturity. Again, you do your fellow Christians an injustice by teaching them that Christian activity is equal to Christian maturity. Do not rest until those around you have become perfect in Christ. If God has put new Christians under your care, you have an obligation 
to stay with them until they have reached Christian maturity. This maturity is a natural expression of the fruits of the Spirit as shown in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 through 23. We read it before. It is highly recognizable and obvious. Again, Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 through 23. The scripture says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things, there is no law. And that's in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 through 23. The true disciples of today are the people who work to have others show the fruits of the Spirit. It is a measure, a measure of how spiritual connected to the body of Christ they are. A person's great gifts and talents and activities alone are not a measure of their true spiritual connectedness. It's what's in the heart. Awards, degrees, accolades, distinctions, and titles, and so much more are great and wonderful. I have them too. But they are not a measure of true spiritual connectedness. Take time to read Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 through 23 to know more of the fruits of the Spirit. And also consider the scripture, Colossians chapter 1, verse 28 through 29 as a means to spread the word God has given. I bless you on this day. My name is Dave.